What's up, everybody? I'm back, man. I've only been gone for like one day. But anyway, man, today I'm going to be doing a review that has been highly anticipated. Wale the Gifted. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers tell me that this album's not good, it's not dope, it's not this, it's not that, or the third. Which I think is a bunch of bullshit. A lot of niggas is hating on this album for no apparent reason, you feel me? So, I'm going to do an album review on Wale the Gifted, because I think it's one of the dopest rap albums this year, if not the second best uh, rap album of the year. So, without further ado, when this fucking iTunes shit loads up, and it's not, hold on one second. But anyway, a lot of people don't understand Wale as an artist. His objective as an artist to, is to be poetical, lyrical, miracle, s syllable, ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? He, wanted, he, he probably the second best new rapper within the last five years. I'd say Kendrick, Wale, Drake... J. Cole, Meek Mill, them the best five rappers of the last, you know, five years. So without further ado, let's get into this fucking review. All right, um, the first track is called The Curse of the Gifted. It starts off with an interlude. Um, this track is hardcore as it gets, boy. Word life, son. Word life. Um, I give this track a 4.5. This shit is hard. Like... No homo, but it is what it is. Turn the music up on these fuck niggas right quick. This record is dope, man. Wale comes on here spazzing. Love Hate Thing featuring Sam Dew. This record is for the grown man only. Y'all young niggas ain't gonna understand this kind of song, man. I give it a 4.5. It's dope. I mean... This record is very dope, man. A lot of niggas hate this record, but you don't understand, man. And y'all probably ain't got no hoes, either. This shit cold. Sunshine. This shit's hard. I give this a 4.5 as well. This sounds like a part two to love-hate thing. And this that that two-step with a drink at the club, having a good time, chilling at a picnic with your family type shit. It's pretty dope. Heaven's Afternoon, woo, 4.5, man, this is probably the best song on the album, technically, well, it's probably the second best song, we'll get to that in a moment, Meat Mill goes off on here, this beat goes off, everything on this song is hard, Golden Salvation, Jesus Peace, it's a decent song, I give it a 4. It's straight. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to jump for joy about, but lyrically it's very consistent. But the song could have been a little bit better. Vanity. I mean, shit. This shit's pretty good, too. It's straight. I give it a four. Gullible with CeeLo. This record is alright. I mean, Wale preaching that good shit, but, you know, I give it a four. It's an average song, but it's pretty dope. CeeLo Green hook is good. Bricks with Yo Gotti and Life Jennings. This song is pretty straight. You know what I'm saying? I like the Life Jennings hook. Yo Gotti's verse is all right. You know, I give it a four. Yo Gotti is supposed to be rumored to be with MMG because he made two appearances on the album. He's been on, you know, Wale's album. He's been on Ross's shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Clappers, I give it a 4.5. This is probably the grand, This is probably the best Ratchet song of the year, hands down, easily. Even over I'm a Boss Ass Bitch. This is more quality. This is probably the best Ratchet song ever. I mean, Nicki Minaj's verse goes ham. Juicy J verse, obviously, is going to be good because it's Juicy J. Um, Wale's verse is dope. The concept... Bad remix. Like, this This is straight. I give it a four. You know, I like the message behind the song, but I like the original a little bit better than this one. But Rihanna added a nice little Indian flavor to this motherfucker, though. Tired of Dreaming with Rick Ross and um, Neo. 
It's pretty dope. I like this record. You know what I'm saying? I give it a four. Rotation with Wiz and Wiz, uh, Wiz and Two Chains. This song could have been kept, man. This could have been on Two Chains' album. But I give it a four because Wale kills the song. Actually, no, I give it a 3.5. This song could have been a lot better than it was with two different niggas. Um, Simple Man. I mean, shit. I give it a 4.5, man. This beat is fucking B-boy, 80s flow, you know what I mean? 88. This is a 5. This is a classic record. It's one of the greatest... It's like one of the greatest songs, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not going to tangle it or twist it. If I say it's one of the greatest songs, it probably is. Because, I mean, the subject matter is, is of a nigga that, you know, likes Michael Jordan, that, that has a few pair of Jordans. If you got a sneaker collection, this is the song for you. This shit is classic. Black Heroes. I give that a four. You know, I like the song, but I, I don't care about the Jerry Seinfeld intro at the end because Jerry Seinfeld is not funny. Um, Bad, the original Bad, I give that a 4.5 because Wale is talking that real shit on here, man. He's just talking about a, a girl that gets off on dogging out good guys but wouldn't even give, like, a, a regular nigga a chance. And she'd just be very stuck up. And then she's realizing that her actions are costing her the chance of a lifetime to be with a great man of a more respected caliber. And Wale sees right through the bitch the entire record. And he just fucks her and she just goes. That's basically what the concept of the song is and the concept of the video, which I have on my iPod. Currently, um, the track has six, the, the album has 16 records. I came up with 68, 4.25. And yes, that's an 85%. That's a, a percentage lower than the Magna Carta. So, you know, Wale the Gifted, 86%. It's the same rating as Nothing Was the Same, but I prefer the Gifted over Nothing Was the Same by a hair, by this much. It's like a diameter. It's a, it's a 0. .5. Like, it's close. I mean, I like Nothing Was the Same, you know, but... You know, now that I've re had a chance to redo the rating of The Gifted, you know what I'm saying? Critically, obviously, I you know, I had a higher rating for Drake album. I'm not, just because I have a higher rating for the album doesn't mean that I don't prefer it, but I like The Gifted better than I like Nothing Was the Same. But the rating that I gave for The Gifted is lower than Nothing Was the Same, so all you Drake fans can shut the fuck up, all right? You got what you wanted. I redid my rating for the gifted. Now leave me the fuck alone. 300.